Shamai and welcome to Bitcoin Coffee Break, the show which we have a quick look at the Bitcoin price and some of the markets which may be affecting it. The price at $8,272, it's had a high of $8,267 and a low of $8,099. Uh, I did say a couple of days ago um, that I didn't think the price was going to breach $9,000 until the weekend. It did, uh, but only breached it for about five minutes and then those sell orders uh, gave enough pressure to push it right back down and a little flash crash and drop to the last previous highs. It's kind of mimicking the same behavior as the when it hit the 8,000 price target and was unable to breach through um, until it kept bashing away at those sell orders and you end up with that nice ascending triangle pattern which forms. Uh, and a similar pattern will probably form once it's trying to attack the 9,000 price range. I haven't done a show for a couple of days because I'm here in Munich. Um, I've been doing some touristy stuff, so I've been a bit, bit busy. We've got the, the lightning hack day tomorrow, so looking forward to that. Just getting some bits and bobs ready for tomorrow, uh, getting myself all prepared. Um, if we have a little look at the news feed, what's going on in the Bitcoin news. Uh, Bitcoin price falls 10% in under six hours. That's a pretty steep uh, steep crash. But I mean, it's wells at play. Look at these. Look at this. the, the, the pattern on the chart here. This is wells at play or traders being very predictable um, and having these big market moves so yeah uh, South Korea uses of crypto exchange up bit fell victim to a phishing attack yep exchanges they're not secure be careful BTC ETH XRP price prediction growth was changed by the market fall have bears seized the initiative uh, no um, crypto markets dump 25 billion as Bitcoin pulled back festers so it's just all the fuddy you know news articles which, which are coming out at the moment clickbaity fud and news articles so um the wells are at play just let them play and hold on i guess if we zoom out we're still very much in a kind of bullish upward momentum um we have kind of broken that natural arc we were building um and we've managed to pop down through that but maybe that arc was was nonsense anyway so uh yeah um so let's have a look at ethereum shall we uh, Ethereum's at $254, it's had a high of $257.8 and a low of $245.3. Um, it's very much mimicking Bitcoin's behavior. It's had a flash crash and then it's hit the last um, highs and it's found that as a resistance. Um, and then it's, it's just gonna bounce along and then move back up. Uh, so this is very much um, just riding off the tail coat of Bitcoin's price. There's not really much independent thinking going on. It's been a bit of a dumb, uh, dumb coin at the moment. Um, I mean, it's still, it's, it's, I mean, it's still looking parabolic on the old uh, Ethereum chart there as, as it moves upwards. So, uh, yeah, it's just going to copy what Bitcoin does. Let's have a look at little plucky Litecoin. So, what Litecoin's doing? So, Litecoin's at one hundred and six point six dollars. It's had a high of one hundred and nine dollars and a low of one hundred and four point two dollars. Um, again, mimicking Bitcoin's price movements. Uh, that big shift it up, big shift down. If we sort of look at the what's that? The sort of six monthly. Um, we're very much still in that channel. We're still, you know, got a little ways to go before we hit the bottom of that price channel, which has been formed. Um, so yeah, so like Litecoin could drop a little bit more, safely drop a little bit more. Uh, but I don't think it is going to. It looks like there's a lot of uh, support there, um, but the, the price range is at, so it's not going to drop too much. Um, and also, it's just going to react on on how Bitcoin reacts. Let's have a look at XMR. XMR is doing the same. Uh, this, you know, maybe it's kind of hitting the bottom zone of that that. Uh, price price channel it's been building at ninety one dollars. Um, it's had a high of ninety three dollars and a low of eighty nine dollars. Again, it's just going to copy what Bitcoin does. So not much independent thought going on there. Gold gold has had a huge tick up, which is really interesting, especially because Bitcoin's had a big tick down. So whether or not some of those people who are trading in Bitcoin are trading in gold as well, and then they're switching between gold and Bitcoin, that would kind of make sense. Um, which would it would also mean that we have a, a hell of a lot of liquidity going into Bitcoin if it's if it's able to move the price of gold significantly. I think it's more likely just a coincidence. We've had some fundamentals in gold which have been interesting. So here's an article here: Gold prices rise on unexpected Mexico tariffs. Um, so uh, Donald Trump um, uh, in his tariffs um, sanctions against uh, China um, uh, and his his, yeah, his 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 trade war against China. Uh, People thought that maybe he was being tactical and maybe he's, you know, he's, uh, he's been a tough negotiator um, and doing some muscle flexing and it's all very temporary. Uh, but now and he's gone and uh, levied a tariff against the Mexicans and said he's going to keep that tariff there until they can sort their immigration problem out, which is clearly a fairly large and hard task to do and very unlikely they're going to be able to be successful at doing. Um, 
So now he just looks like a crazy old guy. And then I think gold price has just reflected that. You know, people have just thought, yep, yeah, he's just nuts. Let's just put our, put our money in gold. He's going he's gonna to crash the whole, um, whole market. Uh, so big corporations and organizations, these tariffs really affect them bad. And it, it has like a long term effect as well because they're not able to make investment decisions. So if you've got if you're producing something and then you've got a production line, you've got materials you're buying from lots of different countries, then it makes it very hard to make decisions when there's tariffs on those materials and you're having to pay a little bit more, a little bit extra. So you, you may be looking to get it from other countries. So that that will affect products which are being you know developed. Um, and, and the production's being organised now, it'll affect the production of those products, you know, for years on afterwards. So it has a real knock-on effect, these sorts of tariffs and sanctions. So, yeah, crazy, crazy old dude. Um, and uh, gold's clearly reacted to, to, to realising that or having that realisation. So gold price prediction, gold rallies as US yields slip. Gold consolidation gains, heads for the highest close in two weeks. Yeah, so gold's really up. And it's, it's look at that, it's at... Um, 1,299, so it's smashing up against 1,300. It actually managed to breach 1,300, and then um, uh, it dropped down, you know, to 12,000 uh, to $1,292. Uh, so yeah, so probably off the back of this this Trump Trump centric news, it's going to breach that the um, $1,300 price point, and it may actually break that kind of bearish trend. Um, so maybe maybe Trump's a gold uh, holder, and he's he's just trying to pump his bags. Who knows? Let's have a look at the S&P 500. So the S&P 500 is not doing very well off the back of that news. Um, it did start to look like it was stabilizing somewhat, but you know, it's very much reacted to the, to the, to the Trump news. Stop slides, bonds rises, trade threats, escalates, markets wrap. So yeah, so stock futures tumble as Trump tariffs on Mexico open new trade worries. So yeah, you have to wonder where the guy's getting advice from. Let's have a look at uh, the Bitcoin Reddit, shall we? And see what's going on in Bitcoin land. So, yeah, we got the, the Vegeta mu, uh, memes, or what I incorrectly call Goku memes. Um, uh, Goku, Vegeta, I don't think it really, really matters, you know, Dragon Ball Z memes. Uh, over 9,000, so we had those. They, you know, people had those ready, ready, to, ready to go, ready to publish, and then within the five minutes we were over 9,000, they managed to get two of them published, which was uh, pretty, pretty impressive, and it's the top of the, the Bitcoin Reddit there. Best six minutes ever, yeah. Well, we're going to have some more time up there, don't worry. Um, so yeah, so Bitcoin Reddit is having a bit of fun with the, the price. Uh, institutional Bitcoin FOMO is here. Grayscale Trust buying 21% of all BTC mined. Damn. Yeah, Wall Street is very interested in Bitcoin. I think it's not looking good for um, companies like Coinbase, Binance, BitMEX. You know, you've got these big players like Fidelity coming into the scene and they've just got such huge liquidity um, with their clients and the amount of money they control. So on the world, um, crypto network we on uh, the bitcoin group we looked at fidelity and their, their um clients they managed uh, 300 billion um, worth of funds and you know coinbase i think um had a, a billion on its books uh so the, the scale of these these come and fidelity's been going since the 70s and coinbase has only been going for you know whatever it is, five six seven eight years or whatever um so uh, the scale of these companies that they're, they're just they're just going to eat our weird little crypto exchanges alive. I think that's probably also why um, Coinbase is trying to diversify uh, into things like margin trading. Um, so uh, they're just trying to stay relevant and trying to have a, I mean, so that's quite important news. I didn't get a news article up on it, but um, Coinbase, uh, currently US citizens can't margin trade. Um, BitMEX don't, um, don't allow you to margin trade in uh, in the US because of the regulatory stuff, whereas Coinbase are trying to get through regulations on that. So that might give them a little edge on the big Wall Street companies, but these big Wall Street uh, firms and institutions, you know, they're, they're all able to strike little backroom deals with each other. They all know each other, they'll go to the same country club. So getting, um, uh, you know, being able to get something like Fidelity regulated to do something like margin trading would be a hell of a lot easier than trying to get something like Coinbase to do it, which is kind of outside of that old money system, as sad as it may be. Let's have a look at uh, some of the news articles. So yeah, FUD, BTC, price nose dives. This is the start of a major, is this the start of a major correction? No, it's not. Um, this is Wells at play. Those are funny little arrows, ones and twos and threes and nines and whatever on a chart. Load of bollocks. Um, it's just Wells at play. Uh, be patient, uh, ride out. Um, 
Binance CEO gives fitting reply to Craig Wright over appalling allegations. So Craig Wright, he's, he's just a detestable human being. Um, so uh, right now, illegal, this is what he said on Twitter, I think. Right now, illegal operations pumping money in Tether and Binance. Illegal use of people smuggling right now for 30% of Binance money funds women in prostitution. So yeah, good old Tourette's boy, Craig Wright, um, uh, attacking the world again. Um, and I think Binance, they took the, the right approach, you know, they didn't, they, they, they just, they, they took the adult stance and they just said, attention is probably what he wants. We ignore stupid stuff and focus on things that matter. Hashtag Biddle, um, uh, or build, Biddle, Biddle, build. Uh, so, so yeah, so yeah, that's the right, that's the right. Just ignore the dude. Um, I probably shouldn't have got this article up, but uh, yeah, he's just, um, yeah such a schizophrenic it's uh, it's quite nice to see to see i, I like i like i like the, the reaction there by balance that was good uh so what else we got uh most major coins see red as market corrects downward gold in the green yep that is really interesting the gold in the green and the bitcoin in the red uh we did observe um the last couple of big movements that gold was negatively correlated to bitcoin so we'll keep an eye on that and see if it has any sort of effect because if it has then that's really interesting um so yeah so that's pretty much it uh here for the lightning hack day so i'll be there tomorrow i'll see if i can do the show before i go out tomorrow and then i'll try and get a couple of interviews um from the hack day uh it's going to be great looking forward to it um have an excellent where are we th friday have an excellent friday um and uh yeah yeah um, um yeah i'll speak to you all soon take care